Okay, babe, so you want to upgrade your life. This is how you're gonna do it. These are my key rules, things that I've done for myself that helped me upgrade my life and ultimately live my dream life. You're either going to compartmentalize or let go people in your life. By compartmentalize, I mean literally know their weak points, know their strongest assets, know how they can benefit you in your life. This is not in a term or a sense of using people. This is literally a business sense because you have to think of yourself as a brand. Even if you don't have a business, you are a brand. Your personality, how you present yourself to the world, that is your brand. The way you dress yourself, the way you walk, the way you talk, the people that you surround yourself with, that is all your brand. And it tells so much about who you are to people who don't know you. So I'm going to know all of my friends' strongest assets, how it can help me, how I can help them, how we benefit each other, and how we're going to succeed. Because every friendship that you have should be leading you towards your goals. It should be a helpful hand towards your success and vice versa towards their success. But that's for them to think about. I mean, it's good for you to know, but we're talking about ourselves, okay? Let go of anybody who is holding you back, who is stagnant in your life, who you don't see any progress with. Y'all are literally in the same cycle every single year. Let those people go. The people that you go to lunch with, that you gossip with, let them go. If they don't have anything in your life, they're not feeding you spiritually, emotionally, or mentally, or even financially, <laughs> let them go. Like, literally, they serve no purpose in your life. You're probably serving more purpose in their life than they are in yours. And it's okay to pour into other people's cups, but we need them to fill our cups as well. All of your relationships should be symbiotic. Create and establish a routine that is geared towards things that are going to make you happy, that are going to lead you to a state of happiness, or that are going to make you more money. You need to have a routine. Every morning I wake up around 7.30 or 8 a.m. Immediately, I'm going to the gym. Of course I'm eating, but I'm going to the gym because I know for myself, I am not going to have the best possible day emotionally and mentally if I don't start by going to the gym, releasing those endorphins, releasing stress, and just getting a good sweat before I start my day. Even taking a shower in the morning can do the same thing because honestly, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna go to the gym, come home, shower, throw something cute on, go about my day, okay? You need to have an established routine because that establishes discipline within yourself, which is the ultimate form of self-love. If you can't establish a routine for yourself, you don't love yourself. If you can't follow it because you know it's gonna make you feel good, you don't truly love yourself. Literally, discipline is self-love. So make a routine, stick to it, don't do anything that's gonna be drastic to where it feels like work. My motto in life is work should never feel like work. I don't want to work. I don't want making money to feel like work. So everything I do is because I love to do it or there are things I'm doing naturally for myself, which again, I like doing them because I'm reaping the benefits. So everything that you're doing in your routine should be either making you money, making you feel good, or bettering yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally, literally. Educate yourself. This is one of my most favorite books, Quantum Success. It's about manifesting. It's about literally knowing your goals, consciously moving towards your goals, and consciously making yourself aware of success and what success looks like to you because it's different for everybody. But if you have a thorough guide and you know where you want to go, you can literally do anything. You do not have to read about manifestation, but I recommend reading about self-help. This book is even about self-help. <laughs> like literally all the books that I bought this year in the past year have all been about how can I better myself, whether it be financial, whether it be manifestation, spiritual, mentally, emotionally, how can I become the London that I want to become that is already where I want to be. And that is not going to happen if you're not educating yourself. I just challenge you 10 minutes a day to just read, even before you go to sleep. That's honestly the best time because you're going to think about what you're reading before you go to sleep. Your mind is going to literally be working from the time you close your eyes to the time you wake up, whether you know it or not. You are subconsciously working towards your goals by simply reading about your goals. Like, it's literally that simple. And then you'll begin to see how the things that you're reading about naturally begins to be implemented within your life. So you want everything to feel natural. That's the key to success, is making it all feel natural, making it to where it doesn't feel like work. They say hard work gets you success. No. <laughs> 
you can get success by having it not even feel like work. You just have to love what you do. When you have passion behind purpose, you're going to do anything. Everything you touch is going to be gold. All you have to do is be passionate about what you want to do and what you love doing. Educate yourself. Have that routine. Establish boundaries. And know who is working for you, who is working against you, and who is working with you. Okay? Because they're all different. Your attitude determines your altitude. And I'm not just talking about your tone of voice and your emotional feelings. I'm talking about your mental state. I need you to move in a spirit of optimism. You need to be optimistic about everything. What could go right versus what could go wrong? Why are we thinking about all the wrong possibilities? It's okay to be aware this could possibly happen, but no. God, what can go right? Show me how good life can get. Show me how positive, show me how abundant my life truly is. I say that to myself every single morning. I've always lived in a mindset of optimism ever since I was a little girl. I could have no money and I'm going to be like, Oh my God, okay, what am I going to do today? And it just all happens. It just all works out. Because when you open yourself up to the possibility of abundance, it has no choice but to locate you because you're opening. You open the doors for it to come in. It's like when you open the door to outside, bugs are going to come in. Duh. So it's like literally just have that open door to success. Have your mind receptive to what the world is trying to give you. Filter in what you want let everything go that you don't want because things are going to come to you that aren't for you but it's up to you to have discernment to know okay this is for me this is not for me and that all comes with your intuition optimism intuition discipline all go hand in hand because you need to understand what's for you what's not for you you need to understand that okay i have this discipline routine I have disciplined mindset. I know who I am. I know what I'm not going to do. I know what I'm not going to fall susceptible to. Okay? So we are literally just keeping ourselves open to the possibility of what can be. That's it. That's all you have to do. Think about the positives more than the negatives. That's going to help you alleviate the feelings of fear. Inadequacy is going to go away. We don't have time for inadequacy. We don't have time to feel like we're not deserving, we're not worthy. When you open your mind up to optimism, you need to know I am worth everything that I think I am worth. So everything that you think you deserve, you're gonna get. I think I deserve the world. I think I deserve to be a millionaire. Like, <laughs> seriously, and we're on our way. We are literally on our way to millions. I need you to understand that. I need you to know that for yourself. I need you to know that everything that you desire you deserve because nobody can tell you that you don't deserve it they don't know you they don't know your life only you have the ability to get your blessings or to block your blessings you need to become the main character of your life because this is your show we're all just living in it and you need to act like it you need to move like it you need to exist in that energy literally I live my life like everybody I meet are just extras in my show I respect them I thank them for being a part of my journey and we call it a day and we move forward because at the end of the day, you eat, sleep, shit, breathe with yourself. You die with yourself. Like you're born with yourself. You only feel feelings directly from yourself. So you need to be the main character and you need to not let people become the son of your life. Because when they do that, when you allow people to become the main character in your life, you're giving them all your power. You're giving them all the abundance that you have for yourself to them. Like, have you ever been in a relationship where you're like, before you got into that relationship, you're really thriving, you're doing good, you're making money, you're happy, you're content, and then you start getting into these relationships, and you're like, your mood is based on them. Your money is not doing so well. And this doesn't happen like immediately when you start the relationship. This is like, I'm talking, you're months in. Now you're like dependent on them. Like, okay, if they're, if they're happy with me, then I'm happy. A lot of women tend to do that. I've done that myself, so that's why I'm talking about it. But you have to know that you are the source of your happiness, you're the source of your success, you're the source of your abundance, you are the source of everything within you that makes you you, that's gonna get you to the next level. It starts with you, it doesn't start with anybody else. Everybody else, they're just additions. They should only be additions. If they are causing you strife, pain, sorrow, let them go and let them go peacefully <laughs> because it's gonna hurt a little bit, but you gotta let it go. You got to let it go. So it all starts with you. Do these things, they've helped me tremendously. 
write them down if you need to because honestly you're gonna be as successful as you allow yourself to be you can literally sculpt your body and you can sculpt your life like everything is multiple it's all about what you envision for yourself so how do you see yourself where do you see yourself going and how are we going to get there create a plan be open to every possibility of how the universe God can take your plans and make it 10 times greater than you ever would have thought it would be. You got this. Do these things. I promise you it changed my life forever. Like, literally. You got this, girl. You will be the girl of your dreams. The girl that you desire is just waiting for you to realize who you are, to wake up and see her.